Hey and welcome back everyone. This is Terry and today we're gonna talk motorcycles. 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 Oh my gosh, what a day. This is a day that a mom that rides a motorcycle waits for. The day one of her kids picks up their very own bike. My daughter she passed her riding course a bit back and went down and paid cash for a brand new Harley Davidson Iron 883 Sportster at latest Harley Davidson in Gladstone, Oregon. Oh my gosh, what a day. It was fantastic to start with. Nikki was so excited and she was smiling so big. Her smile, oh my gosh, she was giggling and she was happy and she was giddy. And I was excited. I haven't been on my motorcycle in almost two years because of the problem with my ears. So I was a little worried about myself riding out there. Got there, we picked her bike up. I saw her smile and look at this little motorcycle dance. Little sweet thing did. Oh my gosh, did a mama good. After that, we went out. I wasn't planning on it. I didn't realize this was gonna happen, but we sort of made it fit in. The skies looked great when we went out there. We went out to Mason's Customs in Candy, where Nikki had her mirrors changed out. Talked to Dean and Brian for a bit. They're always amazing. After they changed her mirrors out, we decided to stop and get something to eat. And while we were eating, we were looking out the window and there were some big clouds coming in. I mean like big clouds. Here's the radar picture. So we ate and we watched and there was thunder and lightning, but it didn't really seem there wasn't any rain until we finished eating. And then the heavens unleashed. You couldn't even see the streets. It doesn't happen in Oregon. We sat there and we waited. And we waited some more. Then we waited some more. Then we started to see blue skies. The rain stopped. There was still water on the streets, which, you know, no big deal. Nikki's gonna get initiated the way an Oregon rider should, right? I didn't wear chaps today. And I didn't wear my winter coat today, nor my winter gloves. So when we got out to our bikes, this is what they look like. Yeah, covered with hail and sleet. And you know, riding in Oregon, you're always prepared. You always have your rain gear, your heated gear, whatever. You, you dress for every season you can even think about. But I didn't because I have not ridden and my bike had been cleared out. Like I said, I didn't have my chaps on. I had on a hoodie and a summer jacket and summer clothes. Nikki gets on her bike and she takes off. She's doing great. She's scaring me a little bit because the girl is riding a little too good for just passing her class and doing amazingly well. They even wanted her to become an instructor if she feels comfortable down the line. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I've got to ride this motorcycle back. She's on her little sports so she's just like flying through the air. Not only is my ear bothering me, it's hurting. It feels like it's going to burst. My jeans were soaked, my hands were cold, and I have this horrible, horrible habit. When it's really cold, or I guess I should say the colder it gets, the faster I run. You need to do that. like it's gonna help. All it did was make me wet and get more wet. By the time I got home, my jeans were soaked. Oh, and I've got another thing. Couldn't find any socks today because I'm kind of shuffling between places. So I couldn't find any socks. And I'm like, she's ready to go. I just grabbed my boots and put them on. Yeah, there's a confession for you. I wore my boots, no socks. <laughs> they filled with water. Which I guess is fine because if I had socks on, they would have been wet too. It was, I, 
I don't even know how to describe it. It was apocalyptic almost. We got home, and this is one of the funniest parts. We got home, the garage door was already open, and my bike and Mickey's bike both have Vance and Heinz full exhaust systems on them. So they are loud. And my son came out, and his eyes were as big as saucers. And he said, oh my gosh, it's only motorcycle. I said, Michael, what is it? What's going on? And I think that he said he had just finished reading Second Kings, don't call me, I don't know. He was scared. So he was thinking, he heard all of this noise, he heard this rumbling, and he was thinking to himself, oh my gosh, what have I done? I've been left behind? What's happening here? He said, I'm so glad it's just motorcycles. God didn't forget me. So, oh, oh my gosh, it was such, it was such a monumental day to see your youngest daughter on a motorcycle. And I tell you what, she rides that bike like she was born on it. I am so proud of her. I am so proud of her. I'm wet. I mean, I am dry now. I'm finally dry. My hair is dry. I have on no makeup, dry clothes, wet stuff's in the dryer. But I just had to let you know what an amazing day it was with her. And I hope you enjoyed these pictures. You guys, if you have your kids that ride with you, you know what an amazing feeling that is. It is just absolutely, there's nothing, there's nothing to describe it. And if you do ride and you have kids and you're a little hesitant, you know what? What am I? What am I? You know, I'm not advocating child abuse. My gosh, my daughter's 30 years old almost, and it is amazing. I, her world, she doesn't realize it yet, but her entire world has completely opened. And I have to thank you, George, at George Latis, Harley Davidson Motors in Gladstone, Oregon. Thank you, Dean and Brian from Mason's Custom and Mickey. I'm proud of you. You did a fantastic job. Way to go, girl. Nick. Yes. What is it, honey? My bike. <laughs> Let's see you start it up. I want to uh, hear those five. Are you on that side because you're left-handed? <laughs> that. <laughs> Have a rockin' weekend. Peace out. Later, guys.